Hello and welcome to Transformation Tuesday. This is where I share thoughts and insights from my own transformation journey to encourage you to walk in and enjoy the freedom of the abundant life. I'm Sandra Allen Lovelace. I am a transformation coach. I was asked to share these personal episodes and that's why I'm here. Today, I want to talk about um, peace. I'll pick that. P-E-A-C-E, -E, peace. Uh, there was a big hubbub beforehand, um, and it's really a hard thing to share. But that's where we're headed toward peace. Now, I just want to say that Yes, this is Transformation Tuesday. I am sharing an episode of my own transformation. Here is another term that I use, and it's a transformation marker. Something that signals us that we're making progress in this putting off the old woman, putting on the new. I don't know about you, but I'm all about that. <laughs> all right. Peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. The other title I was thinking of was Car Wreck, or just plain wreck, maybe. But really, words have power, and it wasn't a wreck at all. Let me explain. I was driving home, barely five miles from where I live. It had gotten dark. I was coming from a side street into a three-lane section of the road. And a oh, very common place. I'm very familiar with it. And I turned to the right. And somehow, accidentally, mm, I brushed another car. I heard the noise. I didn't feel any movement. There was no loud crash. And I thought, I wonder what that was. I wonder if that was that little... Mm, sort of a curb in the middle to keep everybody going this way on the proper side, everybody coming this way on the proper side. I wasn't sure. All of a sudden, I heard a ho car horn tooting. Do, 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 and I thought, oh, something happened. I wonder what it was. Did I hit a car? So I pulled over, and I was okay about it. I thought, well, if I did, it couldn't have been too bad or whatever. However, I started pulling out my registration if that was the issue, Again, it was dark, and it was three lanes coming both directions. I wasn't hopping out of my car, but I started to pull out my paperwork, and this a young woman came up next to my car. So I put my window down, and her mom was with her. And the, the mom was, I could see her face was furious, and I started to react. I started having a, having a trauma response, even though I had already decided it wasn't such a big thing. Whatever it was, it can't be too bad. Well, then, woo, the angry mom. <laughs> and then the daughter looks at me and says, my car is totaled. And I thought, how could that be? Oh, my, how could that be? <laughs> so... But I could feel the fluttering. I could feel the nerves. I could feel everything coming in to shut down my brain, going into overload from peace to survival mode. That's what was going on. <laughs> and I said, okay, well, we need to share information. I had it in my hands by then. Oh, whatever, whatever. So she goes back to her car. I guess, well, she said, she said, I said, totaled? And she said, well, maybe not totaled. <laughs> I said, I'm okay. Well, let's exchange information. So they went back to the car. Evidently, her mother decided she didn't need me anymore because she came back up again. We exchanged information and the whole thing unfolded. Well, <laughs> to get to my piece of this, because there are a lot of markers that happened along here. Number one when the mom and the daughter went back to the car to get so she could get her license and, and insurance information, my mind did continue to function. Okay, she overreacted. Sandra, it's not a total. Her car didn't get total. This is something you're going to have to work your way through. La-dee-da. Um, 
But I pulled the key out of the ignition, dropped it on the floor. That's what I was taught to do when there's an accident. And then she came back. We exchanged information, called the police, so on, so on. And I was able to sit in the car. I didn't jump out. I didn't run around, which, see, the the former, the old Sandra, would have been so cranked up with energy that I would have been doing that. Get out of the car, rush back, look over her car, make sure it's okay, calm the mom, don't worry, everything will be all right. I did not take on responsibility for them. Yeah, for what the damage my car did, yes. I, I did have to do that, I know. And the police officer came and I was able to interact with him without being fried. Yes, I felt the anxiety. I didn't have... I didn't understand really what happened. I explained to him what I what I had done, where I had come in and so on. Then he went back to talk to them. And again, I sat there and I thought, okay, Sandra, you're going to have to live through this. Whatever you've done, you're going to have to take care of it. This is your responsibility if that's what they decide. I don't know where that car came from. I, I, I turned right. I don't, I have no idea. Maybe I was coming along and she approached. I didn't see it. And I went into, was going, I was going into that lane because I was going to make a left-hand turn. I, I don't know. I didn't know. But my brain continued to work, which is a transformation marker, a transformation marker. All right, let's go forward. Got finished with all that, all the paperwork, the police, and and so on. And I came home, and then I I could feel the aftermath coming up, sort of like when an earthquake happens, and they call those aftershocks. Oh no! Now I'm going to have to this. Now I'm going to have to that. How am I going to fit all those things into my day? How am I going to uh, follow? I, I don't know exactly what to follow up. Oh, it's a Sunday evening. I'm going to wait and call my insurance company in the morning. I mean, all these various things started to crank me up again. Didn't sleep too well that night, but I was able to function the next day, got things rolling as best I could. At the, you know, you can't solve everything the first day. And that those were the kinds of messages I was telling myself. All right, Sandra, you've, Sandra, you've done all that you can do right now. I had a, a list of things and other things I guessed would come and so on. Now get back to your regular responsibilities. And that went in and out for a couple of days. Appointments were set up and this and that and so on and so on. Decisions were made by the insurance company and not in my favor. <laughs> anyway, I kept speaking to myself. Sandra, this was a fender bender. Consider the lives of, well, my whole life. I had a minor accident like that, which wasn't my fault. When I was 16, that was a very long time ago. Um, can't remember anything in between. Things that I might have backed into a lamppost, <laughs> but not with another vehicle, not a moving violation kind of thing. Anyway, trying to keep a perspective, reminding myself of this, and you'll get through this, and you're going to be okay, and so on, so on. Not losing track of myself, recognizing the anxiety that was trying to push its way up, and contradicting it, confronting it with truth, all the way through the whole entire process. I think it probably took a week, maybe 10 days, to actually calm down, my car was in the shop, then out of the shop, and now there's some follow-up, which I'm unhappy about. But anyway, here was the big learning curve that I was on, that I do, I have talked about this in, in other places, and I share it with my clients. Really, I'm responsible for my inner peace. Holy Spirit lives here. Uh, this is the sanctuary for him. And it's, I, I know I can calm my body physically. I know that's where my emotions live. So when I calm my body, that's another talk, <laughs> but uh, the emotions calm down and then my brain works more completely again. My mind is part of that process because... We're transformed by the renewing of our minds. I can connect with truth that way. And of course, there are all the spiritual aspects. God knew this was going to happen. And 
Yes, I need to be a little calmer about hurrying up to get home. Yes, I need to be alert of the, to this. Yes, these kinds of things. But this is what I pay for insurance for. This is why I take care of this other thing. This is why I'm being a responsible adult. And this is not a crazy situation like the, the time I got hit and the person drove off. So all in all, I maintained this inner sanctuary. Yes, I live in a fallen world and I'm not perfect. And so there were some ups and downs. But a week or 10 days later, I was really done with that event. That's a huge, that's a huge phase of transformation for me. And it just goes to show what's possible, what's possible when 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 we commit ourselves to God and intentionally we're going to grow that's that's the mindset look if this was helpful for you and you can relate it'd be great if you would like it also if you know somebody else that it'll be helpful to or you have other friends post it on your facebook page or Share it individually with them. For that matter, you could make a comment. You know that Facebook and YouTube uh, push things, uh, material up higher if people are liking and sharing and commenting. Did you know that? So help a girl out. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.